From the SportsLink studios on the campus of Ball State University, this is Chirp Central presented by Victory Honda of Muncie. I'm Isabel Glenn. Last week in Ball State sports, there were 19 events scheduled, from the courts to the pool, but none bigger than Ball State baseball opening its 2021 season. They travel to number 22 Arizona, and here's a look back at some highlights. Staying on the diamond, Ball State softball opens its 2021 season with five games this weekend at the Southern Illinois Tournament in Carbondale, Illinois. Senior pitcher Alyssa Rothwell is excited to get back on the mound. Well, my expectations are that we win a MAC championship. Um, it's our fifth year, so I really have a lot of confidence in my team that we can get there. I think there's a little bit of nerves, um, just without, I mean, a lot of teams are in the same, actually probably every team is in the same situation, just not seeing an actual team for a whole year. And that's just super crazy to think about. I think it's adding to the nerves a little bit, just because we're so, I think we're so used to just playing against other teams, like we'll have fall ball and stuff like that. Nobody's ever went a whole, almost a whole year without playing another team. So I think that it just makes me personally feel a little nervous, but I know I'll be fine once I start going. Men's volleyball improved to seven and one and four and zero in the MIVA after a weekend sweep of Lindenwood. Junior Caleb Jennis pounded 37 kills and hit 397 and was also named the MIVA Offensive Player of the Week. Caleb also visited with SportsLink's Mason Plummer for a new series on BallStateSportsLink.com and we had the honor of meeting his dog, Kobe. So um, what are five things that you can't live without? I'll just go go from there. Um, probably my dog. Okay. Do you, you have your dog here? Yeah, he's actually behind me okay. right here. His name's Kobe. Is he's it spelled like Kobe Bryant? Yeah. <laughs> This week, we check in with our global partners at Cardiff Met University. Sport broadcast student Joe Breyer won the 400, breaking a record with 46.81 seconds. He qualified for the European Indoor Championships, making his way toward the Olympics. I sort of with an outside chance of being selected to the Olympics um, in 2020, but with my performances then later on in the year in 2020, it's proper like knocked the nail on the head saying, I'm actually in with a real chance of going to Tokyo. I could actually make it to the Olympics rather than having hit and miss whether I'll actually get there or not. You can watch the complete video of Joe and meet more of our friends from the UK by following at CMET Sport TV on Twitter. Back on campus now, here's what's chirping in Ball State sports. After a dominant performance and a win over nationally ranked Arizona, junior right-hander Tyler Richley has been selected as MAC Pitcher of the Week. Richley, a native of Durango, Colorado, worked 5.2 scoreless innings and struck out nine to shut down Arizona in a 5-2 Ball State win. Gymnastics improved to 12-0 after another 195-plus score win at Bowling Green. Freshman Hannah Ruthberg was the best all-around competitor in the gym, scoring 39.225 across all four rotations. The Cardinals host Western Michigan Sunday at 3 p.m. in a meet produced by SportsLink on ESPN3. 
Add another team to the competition this spring as soccer hosts Miami in an exhibition match on Thursday at 2 p.m. on SL Digital before officially opening the season March 4th against Toledo and Muncie. And finally, field hockey is back on the field next week. Captains Sierra Jefferson, Rachel Piera, and Audrey Tabor lead the Cardinals in a 16-match spring season starting Tuesday against Miami. That's this week in Ball State Sports for Chirp Central, presented by Victory Honda of Muncie. I'm Isabel Glenn, Chirp Chirp.